Hello brothers and sisters, thank you for coming back to watch our videos and I hope that you are feeling the anger, the anger that moves you to push for African development. Today we are going to react on the Saudi African summit that happened from Friday 10th November and we saw a lot of presidents and dignitaries from Africa going there as well as uh, about 50 or more deals being made. We saw uh, Nigeria, Nigeria you know, getting, oil getting an, an oil refinery deal mm -hmm. and something happened, they were given a, a, up to 2030, they are going to invest some amount of money which could let you know, then we react on that. So Saudi Arabia will invest about 25 billion dollars in Africa by the end of the decade as part of its Vision 2030 plan to overhaul its economy. So who is overhauling the economy? Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Yeah. So they want to invest 25 mm -hmm. billion dollars. To overhaul, to overhaul its, its economy. economy. Through what? Africa. Africa. That is stupid because <laughs> 25 divided by 54 is like 0 point, 0 point something. So it's about 90, 90 something. Million. Before you even get there, it's you calling me to help you pull up your economy. You know, so it, it has nothing to do with me. When President Ruto became president of Kenya, he used to say, we will not be called to these countries. Be summoned, uh, be, we are summoned, yeah. like little kids, packed up in buses. When it comes to, to US, we are called, we go. We should be sending representative, but we saw him going there. <laughs> they always go. Yeah, so the only, the only place he missed was Russia. But uh, what I want to say, he was very, very correct when he said that we will not be some. Unfortunately. Imagine, can you see a country like, like we have Uganda, Europe summit, then all the presidents of, of Europe come to Uganda, of Museveni Uganda, summit. Uganda, Asia summit. <laughs> oh my God. No, it's crazy <laughs> that our presidents are summoned by these countries because they want peanuts and we have the capability we have the, the ability to develop our nations wow. like nobody's business so we have russia africa summit we have saudi africa summit we have china africa summit though all those are countries france africa summit uh, u.s africa summit uh, britain africa summit At or uk point, africa it's summit everywhere. It's everywhere. turkey it's africa india. summit it's india exactly you mm -hmm. saw the one in, in India, yeah. where the presidents were, the, all the presidents of Africa were told to wear the Indian attire, exactly, exactly. and only Mukabe said no. no that was a, 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 a golden guy, <laughs> saying that I don't entertain that nonsense. So I don't know what they think, I, I, and if there's a president who never attended this thing, I applaud him or her oh. for refusing, because this is... Like it's crazy, slaves, man, eh? yeah. It's like goods. You like, hey, come, India Africa summit. Hey, come, China Africa summit. Hey, come, Russia Africa summit. US Africa Imagine summit. Imagine being the rich one here, but you don't even understand don't, that yeah. you are the rich. You are the power here, mm -hmm. and everybody wants to associate um, themselves with you because of what you have. But you feel so inferior that you think that um, you depend on these people. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. so. The inferiority syndrome amongst us is very evident and the reason it's so easy for these guys to say come and we all run you know without even thinking twice nobody says no wait but my country has this mm -hmm. all these minerals why should i go to your country where you know it's just a desert and there's nothing to benefit honestly what is there for what is in it for me um going to these summits you know yeah, yeah, so yeah. they don't even question such things they just jump to the to the um you hear 600 billion dollars and you're like, wow, that's good money. I'm yeah. in for it. I'm in. But no, yeah. this 25 billion dollars up to, yeah. to 20, that is very little. I mean, for them, it's, I mean, it's, it's a lot. Why couldn't the, the Saudi prince just decide, um, I want to invest in, in, in Nigeria? He goes there because 25 billion is peanuts. He says, I want to invest in, in Mozambique. amongst all of these countries, that is. Yeah, Mozambique, he goes mm -hmm. there. Why call all these people? Because they are and stupid and they, are, they, they, they just yeah. run to it. And but they most most of what was spoken was on Gaza, Palestine, Palestine, yeah, Palestine Israel. War. But uh, I am sure if you look at those presidents who have woken up, like President Museveni, who's 
retaliating on our Africa, Africa uh, investing on our raw materials yeah, and processing, processing them. them. I don't think he was there. I'm not yeah. very sure, but I don't think he went. But we can see those presidents who want world deals, like the president of Nigeria. Kenya or Nigeria, or I could see the president of Ethiopia, their prime minister, sorry, the prime minister of Ethiopia. And you know, they, uh, there are a lot of Ethiopians who die in Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. because of uh, racism and, and mistreatment of workers. And yeah, and you mentioning that, I, I, I've just been reminded that this is the same country where our people go seeking for you know, employment. employment. Yeah. And it's not even a secret that these people are being mistreated. There's a lot of racism. Yeah, There's a lot die. of. You know, people are killed by their own bosses in their houses and nobody does anything about it. Our presidents don't even save these people. And then you go there for the peanuts and you still say we want to associate ourselves with you guys. Even without you saying correct this nonsense mm -hmm. that you are doing to our people first before we can even sit on the table with you. You know? Yeah, and I hate those presidents who say we have, we have a deal with the UK or the US or Saudi Arabia so that our people can get employed there. Why can't you create employment in I your own country? I hate you so much. I hate you. I, and <laughs> I wish, and I, I applaud someone like Ibrahim Tara who is motivating young people to create employment yeah. so that our people can... You know, when you motivate young people, you know, it's not everybody who can who has this dream or who has the ability to, to dream create and create an, yeah, employment. An entrepreneur. But we have at least... 20% mm -hmm. out of the whole population mm -hmm. that can do that. And, and out of this 20%, of yeah. when they create employment, they employ the rest mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. population. Brilliant. But when you come to introduce policies which are killing the local uh, uh, investments and local entrepreneurship, yeah, so that people, people can mm -hmm. go get employed outside and they'll be paying taxes to your country, mm -hmm. it's stupid. Very stupid of him. Yeah. So, guys, let us know what you think about Africa. African president going like goods, uh, not goods, sheep to Saudi Arabia or any other African countries, rather than sending the African Union, the, the you know the EU when you they invite the EU to the EU to, to they send the yeah, EU, EU representative. Who speaks for all of these countries which yeah. are part of the yeah. EU? At least send the. Uh, send uh, uh, Muzaffar Muhammad yeah. to represent and just stay ho at home. But because you are not united, you I want my deal, I want my deal. Mm. You can go there, make a deal and say, uh, we want to invest in Nigeria for this, this, this. You call you Nigeria and say, yeah, we want to this? invest. Would you does agree? Does it work for you? Yeah, does it work for you? You know? But this thing of being called like... Call Everybody shape, wants to have the side talk with, with you. You know, it doesn't make sense. You need to sit down in Ethiopia AU offices mm -hmm. and agree on this and decide who you will be sending. At least send at least two presidents. Man, Africa yeah, needs but, to wake up. But, but have you, have you realized that um, this is not something that is within the president's level? Mm. Even in, in small workplaces like um, at your workplace, for example, mm. those who are employed, you will always see, especially if you're employed by a white person who owns the company probably, mm. you always see there's always this um, black guy or your colleague who wants to um, make themselves yes, love yes, yes, yeah. you know, by the boss, mm. by who always wants to be around the bosses. So when you see some of these things happening at presidency level, mm -hmm. it's not something new for, for Africans. It's that inferiority and it's, it's, this is something that is going to kill us for the rest of our lives if we will not correct it, especially yeah. with our kids. Mm. Make your kids understand that there's no in the inferior and superior human being on this earth. Because it starts from school, from class, there's always that one who wants to be, you know, loved by the boss. If it's yeah. a white person, uh, especially they want to associate themselves, they will do the extras to be yeah. loved by mm. their boss or to be recognized. So when you see our presidents going there, mm. it's because they want to have these side talks, Hey, I can do, you know, for us in yeah. Kenya, we have this. What do you think? So this is something that we have. It's embedded in us through colonialism and all of these nonsenses that were brought into us. Some blame it on religion. We've seen Dr. Arikana saying religion was one of the biggest tools that was used to yeah. make us so dumb. So when you see our presidents doing these things, 
blame it on all of these things and also on you but, know uh, them but, not wanting to wake up even after yeah, this but, and, and this youtube this ev everybody is talking this about thing. waking up they it's know they just pretend to be dumb yeah. or they pretend to be There's money involved. or they want to get a lot of money and you know the failure of africa to unite mm -hmm. Is costing our brothers and sisters in diaspora in the diaspora a lot, because if Africa was developed, if but Africa united was one. and was one, mm -hmm. we would be able to to force these people to respect yeah. us. But now racism is rife in Brazil, mm -hmm. in in Mexico, in Colombia, in everywhere, Europe, U.S. Racism, and our people division. are being killed, being, being called. Thugs mm. because of just your yeah, skin color, yeah. brown color. And do you know what also it, it does? When our African brothers and sisters in the US, for example, in the diaspora want to come back, now they have to ask themselves which country, you know? Yeah, because the there's, there's this division. If you mm. go to Tanzania, for example, there's this. If you go to Ghana, there's mm -hmm. that. But when an African wants to go abroad, for example, they just say, I'm going to the US, I'm going to the US. It's never. A, a difficult decision to make yeah, and, that. As you know, US mm -hmm. is like this, small countries, but yeah, one nation. Exactly. The yeah. states Africa are countries. Africa should be like that. Africa should so, be like that. So, uh, we are divided and it's going to cost us for the rest of our We are seeing it already with these deals that are being made. Very mm -hmm. dumb decisions that are being made by our leaders. Yeah, guys, I know you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and share. Next time we'll be talking about, about all this in a live session and we'll be inviting you to talk with Definitely us and share, yes. you know, and wake our people up. And you'll be telling us how you are doing it in your country or your region and we'll oh, celebrate we you. Yeah. 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 So let us know what you think about the video in the comment section down below. And please don't forget to like the video, comment, share, 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 and definitely do subscribe. We'll see you in the next, next one. one. Bye bye. bye.